Women and Empowerment. In 2016, the United Nations, UN, introduced some goals for our future and for the future of the Earth. The goals are there to stop people from being poor, to look after the Earth, and to stop war. They are called the Sustainable Development Goals. Goal 5 is about equality between all genders. This goal talks about empowering women, which means helping them to become stronger and braver. All the women in this book have felt empowered to achieve great things, and they have helped to empower other women. The history of women's empowerment is long, and a lot of progress has been made. But there are still many things that stop women from enjoying an equal life. In some parts of the world, for example, very young girls have to get married. This is called child marriage. More than 700 million women in the world today were married before the age of 18. 250 million were married before 15. This is often because families are poor. Parents in poor families marry girls when they are young, so they do not have to give them food at home. Sometimes they also get money from the parents of their daughter's husband. In sub-Saharan Africa, 40% of women are married as children. For example, 32% of girls in Zimbabwe get married before they are 18 years old. Lovnis Mudzuru and Ravimbo Tsupodzi were two young women from Zimbabwe who were married to men when they were 16 years old. Lovnis had two children before she was 18. Ravimbo's husband hit her, and sometimes she had to sleep outside. She said, I wanted to stay in school, but he refused. It was very, very terrible. Loveness and Ravimbo decided that they had to do something about child marriage. They took the government of Zimbabwe to court. The law was bad, they said. The lowest age for boys to marry was 18 but the lowest age for girls was 16. On the 20th of January 2016, after many months of thinking and talking, the court changed the law. Now the lowest age to get married in Zimbabwe is 18, and it's the same for boys and girls. The two young women were very brave, and they were empowered they helped to make a big change in their country. Progress is coming slowly to other countries. In Guatemala and Malawi, for example, the lowest age for marriage is now higher. Nepal and Zambia are working on laws that help girls. But the big problem in any country is changing the way people think about child marriage and that takes time. One of the biggest stories of women's empowerment has come with the hashtag MeToo movement, which started in 2017. Hashtag MeToo is a movement against sexual harassment and assault. Hashtag MeToo was used a lot from October 2017 on social media to show that there is a lot of sexual assault and harassment of women everywhere in the world. At the same time, famous men in the film business, like Harvey Weinstein, were accused of harassing and assaulting women, and men in TV and politics have also been accused of these crimes. In 2018, a very famous man in American TV Bill Cosby 
was convicted of sexual assault and was sent to prison for three to ten years. The words Me Too were first used by an American woman called Tarana Burke in 2006. They were used again by actor Alyssa Milano in 2017. Alyssa told women to write about sexism and harassment on social media to show how big the problem was. That night, social media became very busy as hashtag MeToo started everywhere in the world. At the end of that day, there were movements in many languages, like Arabic, Farsi, French, Hindi and Spanish. Today, women in many different countries are using hashtag MeToo every day to tell people about the assault and harassment they get. They are asking for change. Many famous women said, Me too. Hollywood actors like Gwyneth Paltrow, Ashley Judd, Jennifer Lawrence and Uma Thurman have all said it. Because of this, everyone learned that there is a lot of sexual assault in the film business. More than 300 women from Hollywood got together and started a group called Time's Up. They asked for money for women who have been sexually assaulted. 17,700,000 women say that they have been sexually harassed or assaulted since 1998. Time magazine gave the Person of the Year for 2017 to the brave women who spoke about the problem of sexual harassment and assault. In many countries, it is very difficult for women to talk about sexual assault. Many women became brave because they saw other brave women in the hashtag MeToo movement. They chose to speak after other women spoke out. In Japan, for example, the hashtag MeToo movement started small, but it is getting bigger. BuzzFeed Japan, which is a news website, has started a hashtag MeToo page with stories about the movement in Japan. Today, the hashtag MeToo movement is very big everywhere. Women have started really talking about sexual harassment, which is a big problem in their lives. In the 21st century, women are stronger and braver than ever. They still need to make progress. But thanks to the women in this book and others, women are now much more equal in society than they have ever been before.